And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, David Trim tells us of the life and ministry of Evangelist George Vanderman. This week in Adventist history, we look at one remarkably gifted communicator. On November 4 in 2000, George Vanderman, pioneering television evangelist, died in Southern California at the age of 84. Born in 1916, Vanderman got a part-time job at a radio station while attending Emmanuel Missionary College, today's Andrews University. At age 23, Vanderman became an evangelist working in the Lake Union. In the 1940s and 50s, he, Fordyce Dettermore, and E.E. E. Cleveland pioneered a new approach to Adventist public evangelism, holding meetings in major American cities and thereby winning many converts. In 1952, Vanderman conducted a major and successful series in London, in Great Britain. The following year, he was encouraged by then General Conference President Ruben Figuer to create a new television program. It became It Is Written. For nearly 40 years, Vanderman was the speaker of It Is Written, which was broadcast around the world and eventually had well over one million regular viewers in North America alone. While many American television evangelists of this period were personally flamboyant and their programs glitzy, not to say lurid, Vanderman had a quiet, reflective style, relying on gentle persuasion rather than razzle-dazzle. But he was powerful and compelling, and he reached affluent middle-class professionals in Western countries, a demographic usually immune to Adventist evangelism. From the mid-1970s, Vanderman also pioneered the Revelation Seminar as a way to draw viewers into a closer Bible study and relationship with the Adventist church. Over a 10-year period, he personally conducted 300 seminars in multiple countries. Indeed, I attended one as a teenager in Sydney, Australia in 1984. In 1991, Vanderman made history when It Is Written became the first American religious series broadcast in what was then the Soviet Union. In 1991, at age 75, Vanderman retired. Nine years later, 18 years ago this week, he passed to his rest. There will unquestionably be many souls in the kingdom, thanks to George Vanderman. That was this week in Seventh-day Adventist history.